The next procedure is optimizing the video head. Thread a piece of unrecorded tape on the tape transport. Set the tape timer to zero. Provide NTSC standard color bars as an input signal and select high band channel B. Servo mode switch should be in the automatic position. Select DMOD out at the video monitor switch panel and turn on the white level CalPulse switch. Check deviation of the input signal on the waveform monitor with the response switch in the IEEE position to ensure that peak luminance level matches the CalPulse level. If it does not, place the video input level switch in variable and adjust the control for proper level. On the VR2000B, the video head optimizer unit is standard. However, on the VR2000A, it was optional, and on earlier machines, it was not available. Therefore, we will demonstrate head optimization both with and without this unit. With VHO, turn on the head override and operate play, record, and VHO push buttons simultaneously. Select switcher RF output on the A-scope. In the VHO mode, only one channel at a time will be displayed. Selection of the channel is determined by the position of the record current switch. Select position 1. Turn the channel 1 record level control full counterclockwise so that there is zero indication on the A-scope. Turn the control slowly clockwise and observe the A-scope display. The RF will rise to a maximum point and then drop as the control continues to rotate. The correct setting is the lowest, which gives maximum RF. Repeat the procedure for the other three channels, and head optimization is complete. On recorders not equipped with VHO, the machine is put in the normal record mode by operating play and record simultaneously. Select Q on the microphone selector and Q out on the audio meter switch. Place the record current switch in position 1. Turn record level channel 1 control full counterclockwise. Using the built-in microphone, identify the channel being adjusted. Rotate the channel 1 control slowly clockwise, meanwhile observing the record current meter. Make a voice announcement at each meter division as the reading increases until the control is full clockwise. Reverse the procedure, again making announcements, at each decreasing meter division to full counterclockwise. Repeat the procedure for each of the channels, moving the record current switch to the appropriate positions. Rewind the tape to zero and operate the play control. Adjust tracking for maximum RF indication with the A-scope in the switcher RF output position. When playback reaches the point at which record level for channel 1 was reduced to zero, playback RF will be zero on the scope. As the record level was advanced, RF will show an increase until a maximum setting is reached and may then decrease as further record drive was applied.
Determine from the voice announcements of meter readings and the RF display on the scope, the lowest record level setting which produced maximum RF in playback. This is the optimum setting for each channel and should be logged. Stop the recorder and put it in record. Set record level controls according to the log readings. The heads are now optimized. Optimization should be verified in the following manner. With the recorder at rest and head override on, switch autochroma off. Select chroma on the A-scope. Adjust playback equalizers for flat response by positioning chroma level indication for each channel halfway between the limits of the cal pulse. The master equalizer on module 17 should be set at 9 o'clock as a starting position and the turnover switch below it to position number 4. Now set the tape timer to zero and record one minute of standard NTSC color bars. Rewind to zero. Select DMOD out on the monitor switch panel and play back the test recording. Adjust the waveform monitor for a two field presentation with the response switch in the flat position and observe the playback response. Note the channels which have high or low chroma and identify them by means of their playback equalizers. Stop the recorder and reset the timer to zero. Start the recorder in the record mode. Adjust record current to the appropriate heads. If chroma was too high, reduce record current. If it was too low, increase record current. Stop the recorder. Readjust the playback equalizers for flat response. Rewind the tape to zero and play back the new test recording. Looking at the waveform monitor, operate the AB switch on the underside of the control panel and compare the E to E signal with playback. Perfect optimization will result in identical waveform displays. 